And this is the day we leave from Salzbach, right? Salzbach. Salzbach. Yeah. Uh, it's been a wonderful week. I haven't been able to film as much as I wanted to because I, I have been, you know, uh, learning how to ski. Uh, but we are going to Vienna today. Uh, we're gonna explain a little bit more about how it was here, how the hotel was, how the prices are, and etc. So for anyone who wants to go to South Park and ski, uh, then you have some more information you could use. So yeah, we're packing up, we're leaving in 10 minutes, so uh, see you in uh, Vienna. It's right there. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think this is the best if we just take it to the ha uh, Hauptbahnhof, which is like the main train station. Mm -hmm. it goes in half an hour. Half an hour. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we have our tickets to Vienna. And what did we get to drink? Andedle. This yes. is so good. Let's sit here, maybe. So, like, you know, if someone comes, yeah. like, all the Sure. This trip should be sponsored by Andedle because we drank so much of it. I know, right? Yes. So what should we say about the hotel we were at? What was the name of it? Wiesenegg, I think, I think, yeah, I think yeah. it's Wiesenegg. So, location-wise, it's in uh, Hinterblem, because there are like, as we said before, mm -hmm. there are three parts of that ski area, mm. which is Zellamse, uh, Salbach and Hinterglam. This was in Hinterglam and it was really nice. It was really nice hotel, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really like nice. It. And it was really good that there was actually like slopes all around so you didn't have to really take uh, the ski bus anywhere if mm. you managed to get on the last lift that gets you home in time because it closes at 4, the lifts close at 4. So that was really good. Also, it had a uh, ski rental and like ski instructor services literally right next to it, so mm. that's also really good. E, the, the, the good thing I liked about the hotel, like you said, like it's very close to all the all the slopes. But right next, right next to you, for me, I before this week I have never skied before. I skied once, and I no, felt, you didn't really ski though. Oh no, <laughs> but I tried once. So the thing I liked about the hotel was that, that you have this really small slope. Easy, yeah, yeah, yeah the like slope. really beginner one. Really beginner one, and as you said, that you have the rental and then the instructor right next to it. So, for me, I spent like half a day in that slope, just learning all the techniques and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we went over to a bigger hill, which was cool, and I got really good there. Day three, I think, we went to the bigger ones. It was, it, it was so nice there. I'm and actually yeah, really and, and sad day that I four, had to leave. Day four, we went to the 1900 mm. one. You know, we took the 12th. Yeah, day yeah. four. Yeah. That was day four. Yes. So but day, day three, we went to the other side already. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you see, like, uh, uh, if you have the right circumstances to learn how to ski, you can go to the mountain. Yeah. Uh, I wish they had something like this in Norway as well. You're just like skiing to one restaurant to the other, you know, having a drink or eating. And it's just like, just, it's just wonderful. You mean one lift to the other, not one restaurant to yeah, the other. Yeah, but you from the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the top. So it's, it's, uh, no, I, I, I loved it. No, it this is a really, this is a really nice area. Mm. This is a really nice so area. I hope they get something like that in Norway as well, because right now it's not that big at all. The slopes here are so much better than the Norwegian one. Yes. So now the Norwegian one shouldn't be any problem at all. No. 
So we're heading to Vienna. No, we're just gonna basically do some sightseeing and take some pictures because Vienna is really beautiful. Like I can't stress how beautiful the architecture is, and it's just you can see that it was you know like a big monarchy mm. thingy, like town or city. So it's really really beautiful, and I would be to see it. I really can't, I can't because it's one of my favorite cities when it comes to how it looks, like you know, mm. when it comes to the architecture and how it is basically and yeah it's really I generally really like Austria <laughs> like as a country so yeah Austria yeah. is beautiful yeah it is, it is so now we're just gonna enjoy this one hour ride from uh, what where were we going Linz. from Linz to Vienna yeah okay see you there We're gonna head off, get something to eat, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go to our Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So let's get some Uber. 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 <laughs> Uber. Um, okay, it's ordered. Yay! Yay! All right. You want to take it? <laughs> no, no, you can. Film no. Later, yes, you can. No. Three minutes. Okay. There we go. So we're currently trying to find the Airbnb. I'm just following the leader. Hmm? I have a really strange feeling that we're going in the wrong direction. This is not the street, yes. That he actually dropped us off. Or is it like that street? I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna double check. It's the next one. Which one? This is the wrong one. He actually dropped this one in the wrong street. So we found it. <laughs> yeah, we, you did. We did. Rapiano, I told you. Hmm? Okay. Oh, hmm? I think it's the same building from the other side. So we have finally arrived to our location, and it's uh, pretty pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. And so we're close to everything around here. Yes, yeah, we're right in the center, like right in the middle. We're just gonna relax a little bit, and then we're gonna head out. We're gonna go around. Yeah. Look around. We're probably not gonna bring the camera today. Hmm. Um, we're gonna go out and eat, but tomorrow we're gonna bring our, you guys around as well. Yes, and we're gonna take some pictures as oh, well. Oh yes, yeah. for sure. So, uh, see you tomorrow. And good morning. It's day two. It's day two of the Vienna trip. Uh, we have packed everything. We're almost ready to go. Well, packed everything. We are like packed in this <laughs> in this bag. So yeah, we don't have we don't have much here at all. Yeah. So the time is now nine, and we're gonna go eat uh, eat breakfast. We're gonna go find somewhere nice and uh, yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, you guys can follow us around today. We're gonna show you Vienna. That's city center. Yes. And uh, maybe a good spot to eat breakfast. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, okay, let's go. And then we are on our way. Looks like it's gonna be a good day though. Yeah, it's already sunny. Yeah. Try this out, see if it says any good. I think you had enough croissants already. I think you need to slow down. Can you believe this? This is like tip the typical mood before she gets breakfast. That's so true. I'm just gonna show you show you a difference. 
from before and after food. Such a liar. It's not true. It's not true. Okay. I have exactly the same person. This before and is after. a triggered face. A little bit. <laughs> no. Yes. You see, like she's burning from the inside. She just wants to no. say something really bad to me right now. Not true. It is really true. No. Yes. No. Uh, I'm I'll show you the difference after. This is pretty cool. Yeah. We got with the coffees. We got juice and water. Yeah. Included. Anything all together with the food, it will be like 11 euros 50 per person. 11 euros, that's not much at all. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. Percent and one of those famous, what's it called? Oh yeah, 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 I have to <laughs> take it away, yeah, but you, 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 you're doing it for Instagram. Huh? Look at the difference. What do you want? <laughs> Look at the difference. No. This is what happens you get when you give your give your woman food. No. And coffee. Huh? Coffee, yes. No. Look at how happy she is. This is a big contrast. Look at before. Look at now. <laughs> Stop. No, you're pretty though. Thank you. No. You're so, pretty too. Here you see. Here you see. <laughs> so you're never moody in the morning? You're never moody? Sometimes a little. <laughs> This? Where? In Vienna? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what is this? Yes, it's the Opera House. Really beautiful. Where I'm coming now. Yesterday we went to this Kunditori. Kunditorai. Aida Kunditorai. And uh, that was a really cool story behind it. <laughs> so basically, this. A guy, this is a Czech guy. Yeah. He had a wife and he started out like selling his. Uh, yeah, selling hers. Uh, uh, like strudel, apple strudel. Yeah. And the, uh, on the opera. Yeah. He just went to. And like then. As a, as, as just a catering thing, like just, you know, yeah. stand. And, and it got so famous that they opened their first big, like, like sweet shop, conditory, I don't know how. Yeah, like yeah. a cafe basically, and it's a franchise now, and it's like all over <laughs> the place. We, we saw three of them already, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And like it was, um, I think it was his son who took over and then made it into a franchise. So yeah. now it's quite yeah. big, it's everywhere. Yeah. A few minutes we're gonna go past them, so you guys will see what we're talking about. And read, do read the history in this place because it's really interesting. You know, starting just from a so your corner selling your wife's bakery and then now it's a franchise so very interesting yeah yeah so this is Ida the Konditurai huh? this and one is pretty cool like I think this is the biggest one we've seen so far yeah and this is the one we've been to as well yeah we were here yesterday trying out the bakery which is really good it was the first time I had this traditional Thing. This it's not a pie, but it's like what? It's called apple strudel. Apple strudel. Yeah. It's uh, it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, and the cream was fantastic. It was through the whipped true. cream. The whipped cream was yeah, fantastic. Was yeah. And the name was Stefan Stone. It's like St. Stephen's. Yeah. Build a cathedral or something like that. Look at that. It's impressive what they made, like, were able to make during this period of time. Yeah. 
I'm very impressed. I've not put this much detail but into the craftsmanships today. This is on the front. I know, but still beautiful. Uh, this is the Peter's Church. Thank you. Peter. you Just as bad, by the way, we suspect that that is Pete. From the horses, that. From the horses. What? Yeah, she's not been stepping in poop yet, which is a good sign. Yes. Yeah. We have now reached the cafe. Yeah. It's a uh, cafe de Lille. We're gonna order some food here, and uh, after this, we're gonna head over to the. Yeah. Leaving Austria. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, uh. Now we're gonna eat. Someone's trying to hold it. What? I'm not touching. What do you think? I haven't seen the last one really. Just the end. I, I think it was wonderful. Yeah? But the first one was weird. Yeah. They were like That was fun. Made me miss uh, high school a little. <laughs> it did. Actually missing it a lot. Yeah, yes, but I was one ending. of those weirdos. <laughs> no, but the ending was really nice. Yeah? Yeah. So if you saw me doing that, would that be weirdo? <laughs> no. Huh? No. I but would... you generally wouldn't like you in high school, so... <laughs> this is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. No, not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. But you're pretty though. Thank you though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's really comfy. It's really comfy. Very comfy. Okay. And this was basically like this is from Vienna to Prague mm -hmm. for hours and it was what 15 15 pounds for one person 15 pounds 15 pounds for one person So this trip this is This is a budget friendly trip Yeah like So not what, trip what is the what's the company uh, Flixbus Flixbus So 15 pounds per person 
and that's only from Vienna to Prague. Yeah, and that's like you can get it e yeah from Vienna to Prague. Mm. And I think like sometimes might be even cheaper. Like it's because I think this is like one of the most frequent one. Mm. Yeah, but like if you go really early in the morning, I think that might be even cheaper. Mm. Oh, sure. So now we're gonna enjoy this four hour ride and we'll see you guys later. Hey? Yeah. How was this bus ride? It was good actually. Yeah? No? Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It's comfy. Yeah. Yeah, and it's the quickest way. Mm. And we are back home in Prague. Yes, I'm already mm. like ready to go back uh, back to bed to go to bed yeah, yeah we I'm are just too so, tired <laughs> so ready to go to bed now yeah. so we hope you guys liked this vlog i uh, hope you found it informative yeah and uh, we will be back soon in another one we're not sure where we're gonna go yet but we'll figure it out yes. so yeah like share and subscribe and uh yeah yeah i guess that's it that's it, that's it. <laughs> Make sure to get the next one. Okay, bye bye bye.